Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of EDU 600 Research Methods and Techniques. On Monday, March 27th, we will be entering week number 10. And as you know, and I keep on saying, there's 14, maybe 15 weeks, depending upon how you count them in this semester. So going into week number 10, we're certainly entering the final third of the class and uh, hang in there. There's a lot of materials and there's quite a bit of quite a few assignments, but I can tell you everybody is doing just a fabulous job staying on top of the materials, including the assignments. So let's before I get to week number 10, let's take a quick peek at where we're at. So we've had article capture one, article capture two, as you can see, new submissions. Everybody that has submitted their article captures have been, I've graded those and provided comments to everybody. We have the visual display assignment that's been, you know, graded, the qualitative critique, the article capture one. So what we're up to this weekend, Sunday, March 26, we have the experimental critique. So if you have, that is the assignment that's due on Sunday night. If you need an additional day or so, or two or three days, please let me know. I am more concerned with you having sufficient time to do this, this assignment to the best of your abilities, rather than just trying to crank something out that will be okay. Um, if you're struggling with this and you need some additional help from me, please let me know. Now, just a word of um, a word about this assignment, if you're trying to put the final touches on it, when you come to the statistics, when you come to the actual tests that were done, I am I am less concerned with you digging into all of the individual uh, tests that the researchers used in the data. Uh, analysis section. What I'm really interested in is keep keep track of some of the key things like the p-values. If the p-value was, supp was supplied, um, there's a perfect opportunity for you to discuss the significance, the statistical significance of the results. And you can mention ANOVA, you can mention some of the other testings that you're done. I will I would love it if you would say that the ANOVA that they did showed this, but also if there's some obscure statistical test that they did, you can mention that and also say, this is what I think it is. This is what I think they found, but I am still a little bit unsure about that. That's okay. That's okay for this paper. Um, you can always shoot me something and and let me know that you're having trouble with it and I can help you decipher the result of that. So don't I, I what I'm saying is I don't want you to spend endless hours on the data analysis section, but just focus in on really were the results statistically significant or not. So that is it. Uh, that's what the assignment is. Now, let me shift gears and I'm gonna, going to go to week number 10. So week number 10. So as you can see, visible. So everybody should be able to see that. The week starts on Monday, March 27th. And nuts and bolts for the week. Excuse me. This is, God darn it. I thought I got that correct. March 27th. So there we go. The week starts on March 27th. Um, week number 11, we're, we're looking at group comparisons. I'd like you to, to participate in the discussion forum. And then we have the assignment, the research um, critique, which is due tomorrow night or Sunday night. Yes, that's tomorrow night. Here's the overview video. In this video, you're seeing it's from last spring. I will have by the time uh, after this is recorded, I will have inserted the video I'm recording right now, so that will be current. So in week number 10, I'll read this to you. We're, we're looking at non-experimental group comparisons. And according to the authors of the book, non-experimental group comparisons investigate differences that are inherent in groups and are not to the in introduction or implementation of a research control treatment or intervention. So really what this is, it, the researchers are looking at really the dynamics between two groups, but they're not, they don't have a test group and they don't have a control group. 
they are just looking at the differences inherently, the inherent differences between the groups without manipulating either one of the groups. So one of the keys, remember, no intervention or treatment is used. I, I'm not sure anybody has this type of research in there. I, I don't think they've submitted it in the, the various um, article captures. So I, I, I'm not sure anybody will be using this type of research as part of their final. But still, this is an important part, understanding the types of research this semester. Uh, keys. Keys to remember, no intervention. I'd like you to take a look at the video by Jeff Beaudry, an excellent example. So what I'd like you to do this week, experimental research critiques graded. Uh, those are due on Sunday. I'll have them graded by the end of the week. Okay, so let's come on down here. There's, I'd like everybody to read the cyber, uh, cyber bullying in school and research of gender differences. This is the type of research that we're studying this week. I'd like you to read that. Look at the voice, pres, pres, voice thread presentation by Jeff Beaudry. I'm clicking on that as we speak. So here, here's the voice thread. I'm going to click on that. So remember, when you are, we've had voice threads that we've used before. Um, what I'd like you to do is, don't forget, you click on that. So based on the chapter that you read, what is one thing you've learned about group comparison? So the way we do this, you hit the button, you go to the end. It should go to the next slide, but you might have to auto, you might have to hit this button down here. And then come back and once again you hit the audio version of it this is a great video because it will help you understand the actual complexity of this type of research jeff did a great job it's something that i've continued using because it explains that type of research so let me go back so that's the voice thread portion down here so here's the article i want you to read Look at the voice thread presentation, summary of chapter 11, walk through. This is a little bit different, but it builds on what Jeff did. And then the week 10 discussion, please list, list and describe two concepts, ideas that help you understand chapter 11. You don't need to write a book on this. I'd like you to keep it concise, keep it to the point and you know do the your original post by wednesday if possible and then commenting on two other people is what i'm always looking for so that is week number 10 in a nutshell um, if you have any questions please let me know if you're struggling on the experimental critique let me know and we can work something out i am here to help thanks everybody keep up the great work in the class and we'll see you online bye